Good morning, YouTube. Welcome in. Today we're on the beautiful build for you. Today we're building in a MATX case. MATX, a micro ATX build today. That's, that's right. 700 XRD is starting it off. We're putting on the B650M board coming in from MSI and the Pro MA board. Beautiful little micro ATX board. Nothing really frilly, nothing really crazy, nothing a little RGB on today's system, but it's absolutely beautiful in terms of performance and value and bang for buck performance. 6,000 CL30 coming in from G Skill and the S5 Rip Jaws RAM. That's 32 gigs coming in in DDR5. Got a one terabyte NVMe drive. One terabyte is plenty of power in today's systems. On topping it off, we've got 750 watt. Uh, ATX 3.0 power supply coming in the 750GL from MSI as well. And then we're putting in the beautiful, I'd say almost compact three fan wind force RTX 4070 coming in from Gigabyte. We're putting us all in the beautiful deep cool CH370, which is a beautiful blackout system. And to top it all off, we're going to cool it with the AK620 coming in from deep cool as well. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. That was a mouthful because we're recording this live as we talk about it right now at our church channel, which you can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over at twitch.tv slash dance at 10 a.m. Eastern. And we hope to see you soon. When I realize I'm muted, I'm trying to talk to you. My bad. All right, let's over the build specs. Let's get our parts chat. All right, guys, let's get started on this beautiful motherboard, MSI Pro. Fantastic little motherboard today. Pull us in. Let's get started. 700X3D today, guys. Fantastic CPU. Got a socket, no bent pins. Good to go there. Down here with a 700X3D. We shall go. There we go. Mash in place, looking good. Next will be our NVMe drive today, guys. One terabyte KC3000, fantastic drive. All right, let's grab our standoffs for the CPU. Take off the factory retention clips we don't need. Let's get our RAM in. Down here we go, 6000 CL30 RAM today from Rip Jaws. There's one, two, there we go, down and in. All right, guys, B650 MSI board coming in from, uh, let's see, B650 M M MSI board coming in today. Uh, nothing really crazy, nothing really beautiful, gorgeous. It just runs really good. 700X3D down on the socket. Our standoff for our AK620 air cooler today. Six, uh, 32 gigs of 6,000 CL30 RAM coming in from G Skill and the S5 Rip Jaws. And then we got a one terabyte NVMe drive here down in the main slot. Absolutely killer stuff. All right, guys, this is a little mini mighty case. I love this little thing. There it is, mini and mighty, and the CH370 from Deep Core. I love this little case. Going for all blackout today. It's no frills, powerhouse little system. Put our back plate in. So like I said, this is part of the no frills system today. The MSI Pro board comes with a movable back IO plate, IO shield, which is kind of crazy seeing today's setup, but it does to keep cost down. I, threw, oh, I literally put it in an upside down chat. Jeez, what a bot. All right, down and in. Probably the first one of those I've had to put in in quite some time. Probably the last time I built, probably with this motherboard. This is the only motherboard I think we use right now that has the rear I.O. not already pre-installed. Again, today's build is actually a quick ship system. It's gonna go on a ready ship deals later today. This is a company called The Catalyst. I believe it's $17.99. It's a very capable, by the way, it's a very capable case. You can do a 240 top mount on this one with ease. You could do a 360 front mount in this case. If MATX is the way that you're looking at, this is one of the best cases right now, in my opinion, in terms of bang for buck quality as well. Like Deepcool's case quality has gone through the roof. I don't think you realize that. We've been using a little more Deepcool stuff because of their cases. And it's good to see that out of a brand who wants to kind of like go after the market share of people who are building really high-end cases at an over premium price point. NGXT has come down on their pricing, which makes them one of the most valuable options as well. I think really right now it's leanly some of their offerings, NGXT and then Deep Cool in terms of case. Fantex is, is there with a couple of cases, a little higher in some of the other ones. Antec right now probably makes some of the best bang for buck cases. There we go guys, some other words all in in. There we go. There's the cables in the back looking nice already. Everything sets. We start working on the power supply. We have 700 watt, 750 watt power supply, and we're gonna put our two front fans in. That's what we have to do. There are two front fans before we do that. Put some beautiful Be Quiet's in there. And we're putting two, like uh, 900, 900 RPM quiet silent wings in the front here just to bring some air into this case. So it doesn't have to be a lot. I mean, this CPU doesn't run super hot. As long as we're just getting a good airflow through this case, which we're getting with the, uh, the cooler, the rear fan, and these two front 140s, plenty of airflow. We're just really throwing these in here just to get that, just like I said, just circulate some air in this case. This case already has good airflow, it's just gonna make it even better. There's two beautiful 140s. I'll show you that there. You can see what we just put in there. Those beautiful Be Quiets. 
All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the power supply next. 1050 GL coming in from MSI today. Fantastic, we're trying to put some of our, like, our lower tier golds into an ATX 3.0. This is an ATX 3.0 power supply, guys. This has a 12 volt, 12 volt high power, which is a 750, which is, honestly, you can put like a 4070 Ti, could power that. We're starting to put these in some of our lower tier, like lower entry level systems. So I like, guess it's an entry level system that also has ATX 3.0 power already. So if you ever want to upgrade the, G, the, C, the GPU in this, it's like a 4070 Ti, you could or future 50 series cards late next year. It's power supply out, guys. There it is. From MSI. Let's get our power supply all set up. 24 pin main first. CPU one, CPU two. Before we get the power cables in, I like to run all of our front panel connections. That way you can zip them up and hide them underneath the big bulky power cables. Let's work on these. Front panel connections are all in. Get our CPU power cables in. All right, guys, almost done with the cable management. Got to run there. We're just running our EPS right now, which are our CPU power. Now we're just going to hook up our 24 pin main, and then we're moving on to our air cooler. And then we go with the 24 pin main. Cable management's looking good, chat. There we go. On to the air cooler. Go top down. Here we need to put this air cooler in. Some thermal paste and then the air cooler. Uh, we're using deep cools on this one. I mean, it's not gonna really be, you might have a one or two degree difference with a little bit higher end stuff, but it's not huge. This is the deep one, it comes with deep cool. It's pretty fresh, good stuff, it works really well. There we go, down and in we go, right on top with this beautiful dual tower air cooler. Nice and tight, it's a big part. Make sure these air coolers are nice and tight on these towers, because these towers can wiggle and wobble. So just, they're getting our fans connected. First fan going down and in. This is where you have to watch your fingers, just spread the tower a little bit, drop it in carefully, slowly. There it is. Because you want to drop, lose a fan, like a fan connector, like I just did. Put it back on. There we go. All right. There we go. That's how it's clipped in. There we go. On we go with this next one. One, two. There we go. All right. All clipped on. Get your front close up really quick. Let's get the cables managed now. All right, cable management is good. Time to move on to the GPU chat. How are we looking? Looking good? There's a cable management on the back. Looking nice and neat. 4070 gigabyte three fan slim. Nice little compact 4070. Fit. It's going to fit great in this case, as you can tell already. That's a killer little case. Get all of our stuff out of the way here. This is a perfect little three fan card I love for these types of builds. Blacked out, small, sleek, but still three fans too. Like, I love this little card. This is the Windforce 3070. It's one of my favorite little 3070 cards. I think it just fits this aesthetic of this build perfectly, while also having plenty of power and plenty of cooling. Or, for, sorry, 4070. In we go with our 4070. And three, two, one with a click. There it is, chat. Per seats perfectly, too. You heard that. Heard that around the world. I think that looks great. I think that GPU looks great in this case. It's ready to quote unquote light it up. Not much lighted up on this system today, but that being said, we still can. <laughs> Start it up. We just get to a post screen. We are done. What are you thinking? It's the catalyst. Tray four, nice and clean. Clean cable management that you expect. 1799, 1700 X3D, 4070, 6000CL30. Beautiful little system here. Let's get all ready to boot it up. How much of a light it up today because it's all blacked out, but hey. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come on over, hang out, chat it up with us, and watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.